So, YouTube is a fantastic little space, isn't it? Like, you can learn things, it's entertaining, there's drama, there's all sorts on the platform. And it's one of the best things I ever did was starting YouTube, just for, for many, many reasons. And I'm gonna go through each reason today. So one of the first things you really learn about is editing, how to use a camera, audio, you learn about all these things and there's such a valuable skill set to have. Like you can do so many things with it and you, you, you do start to build a little bit of an obsession with editing stuff, camera stuff, audio stuff, but it is a very, very good habit, not habit, obsession to, to have. Say when you're like watching like Netflix and stuff, or like you're watching a film or an another YouTube video, you become fascinated with like like how, how they how they capture the shot, <clears throat> you know, what cameras they're using, how, how they manage to get the audio quality so like perfect. Just all these little things, you just become fascinated with it. So you're not just enjoying like the show in general, you you're enjoying the whole production side of it. And yeah, it's it's just a it's just a great mindset to have. It just you just become very just become very creative minded and it's just a nice yeah, it's just, it's just a nice headspace to be in. Like when you're watching stuff, like, and you know, there's, there's like a drone footage of like a, a mountain or something. You're like, oh my God, that's just unbelievable. It's amazing. Like you really appreciate the full aspect of it. And sometimes when it's like, when when it's, you're watching these like adventurous shows, like you always wonder like, where the hell are the camera crew? <laughs> and where the hell are all these like cameras and stuff? And where are all these microphones? All these little things you just, yeah, you just kind of, you, you kind of start to pick them out and it's, yeah, it's fun. We live in a world where we're very, we're very controlled by a lot of things. You know, our jobs and, and the governments, we get taxed. To have something like a, your own YouTube channel, it, it really does, it really does make a whole difference to your, to your whole mindset. Like it makes you feel like, oh, well, you know, yeah, fair enough. I'm kind of controlled in my job and stuff and I've got a manager that I need to impress and stuff, but, having a, your own YouTube channel, it kind of, oh, well, at least I got that. You've got full creative freedom of, of that particular aspect of your life. And that's just a, yeah, once again, it's just a great, it's just a great thing to think about. And again, it gets you through the day sometimes, knowing that you've got, at least you've got that, you know? One other thing as well is it just massively boosts your confidence. Like putting yourself, putting yourself on YouTube like that, and you know, day-to-day -day life stuff, and you know, talking to the camera, it, it can be quite daunting. But once you get over the fight, the first like 10, 20 videos, it, it's just such an enjoyable thing to do. Like you start to, yeah, you start to break down these social barriers that you've built up in your head. You, you know, when you first start, you think you think people are going to care about what you're doing, but they actually don't. Because at the end of the day, like, it's your life. If you want to do it, fucking do it. Because you don't want to get to like 70, 80 years old and regret not doing something. You're better off, you're better off regretting not doing it better than not doing it at all. So yeah, you know, I'll, I'll have no regrets. If I've, if I've been off YouTube in a year's time, which I'm not going to, but it, you know, met metaphorically, if I did, theoretically, if I did, like at least I won't have any regrets thinking, oh, I wish I did that when I was, when I was younger. So I'm going to get in now, do legs, Last last gym session before Christmas. Let's go.
I do think though as well that like if you're a business owner, then it is an absolute no brainer to get onto YouTube and do some nice long form content. You could do tutorials, express your knowledge to people to, to, to sell your business or your service or a product even. Like it's just an absolute no brainer. People who are on like TikTok and stuff, like their main goal, I feel a lot of them is to transfer it over to YouTube. And yeah, it's just it's just really, really professional. Like there's not there's not many people like if if you if you think now, right, just have a think now. How many of your friends or people you know put YouTube content out? I guarantee you won't know anyone. You you know people, obviously you know YouTubers and stuff, but you won't know anyone in your immediate friendship group, people you know from school, businesses. You you'll probably maybe name like one or two. You could be that that pioneer in your in your immediate friendship group and your just your area that to, that just yeah broke the mold and and got onto YouTube and did something different, did something for themselves. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, if I was to give you some real solid advice on starting YouTube in 2023, the best thing you can do is get, if you've got a camera, happy days, but if you don't, don't worry, just use your phone. Phones are just amazing these days. If you've got like a 13 Pro or a 12 Pro or, or something like that, then the camera is gonna be pretty good on it especially like cinematic and stuff. The front camera, not so much. So yeah, just try and use the back camera. Get like a little tripod. You can get like 15 quid tripods on, on Amazon or something. You, you can honestly get a really good collection of stuff for like 50, 50 to 100 pounds. I, I actually purchased the Canon M50 vlogger kit from Argos in like February, 2020. And I was very cringe picking that up. And I see what I mean, like, not, like now I wouldn't even care if I went to go and pick up like a vlogger kit hate that word, but yeah, I wouldn't even care now just because I've broken down that social barrier in my head. See, it's, it's, all, it's all in your head. It's all made up in your head. No one in the world cares. We, we, all, we live on a floating rock and whatever you want to do or whatever you want to put out on, as content on YouTube, just do it. And if you don't like it, you can always just privatize the videos later on or something, like just give it a go. And lastly, if you could please, please, please subscribe, like the video, comment on the video, invest in money into like camera equipment and everything like that is more so for your entertainment. It's, it's for your, it's for your eyes. So you're investing in yourself, really. If you comment, like the video and subscribe, if you haven't, you are really, you're actually really investing in yourself. So if you haven't done those things, please do them now. And I'll be, uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be very, very happy. It'll be a great little Christmas present for me. Great little way to see in the new year. It'd be great. If you like and comment on it, it, it goes onto people's feed who I haven't reached out to yet and they get to discover me. And yeah, it's just, it's a, it, it'll, be, it'll be a nice little snowball effect. So yeah, if you could please do that, that'd be great. Thank you very much. So I'll stop begging now. I'll leave you, I'll leave you with that. Um, have a great Christmas. Have a great new year and I'll see you in 2023.